Michael here, here in uh, Sydney today, pouring rain in Sydney today, and uh, we are getting ready for a trip to the Victorian high country next week, get everything sorted out. Thankfully, thankfully we've got somewhere out of the rain to do that. We're hoping the rain will stay away next week. The weather forecast is looking good for us, which is great. So we get everything sorted out. Uh, of course, when you go to the high country, preparation is everything. You need all your recovery gear, you need your first aid kits, you need your radio, you need your personal locator beacon. We're even taking along Starlink as well so we can continue working along the way. Uh, but we've got everything we need to be safe in the high country. Uh, and of course, the most important thing to be safe in the high country is not to have to use the toilets that everyone else uses. So that's why we're also getting cutty prepared to take along on the trip. Now, as I was starting to get cutty prepared, I thought I get lots of questions about uh, core peat or cocoa core or coir or however you like to say it, doesn't worry me. What I know is it likes your poo. So uh, I thought I'd show you um, how I get prepared. Uh, I'm preparing here on the kitchen, don't worry. I will clean the kitchen after I've done this. Mind you, there's nothing dirty here anyway, but I am preparing on the kitchen today. So you've gone along and you've got your, your big brick of core. Now I find this a really useful instrument. This is just a uh, flathead screwdriver because core can be really hard to rip apart. So I just find if you grab your screwdriver and just jam it in, you can easily rip a part of that off. So that's a, a nice, easy way of doing it. Uh, here's one I prepared earlier, of course. This is about a quarter of that. And uh, at a quarter, we say about 500 mil, but you know, I'm, I'm not the most details focused guy in the world, so I just put a bit of water in it. And I'll show you, we put water in it and it hydrates up and you should see what it turns into. So I've got the tap here. I'll put a little bit of water in there. Like that. And you just sort of squish it around. I reuse the plastic bags too, of course. I know we try and uh, reduce single-use plastic at every opportunity. Uh, I just find these bags really good to both break it up, hydrate it, and also to uh, store it and carry it in. So I usually prepare a bit more than I need, so I've got a bit of spare uh, when we're out and about, just in case, you know, I need a bit more uh, compost medium to cover whatever deposit. I may have given Cuddy on the way. So that's getting pretty close. Doesn't take much. I'll just do a little bit more. Remember the key is we want it moist, but not wet. We just want it moist enough so it's nice and loose and light and fluffy. And uh, then when you uh, put it in your agitator bin, uh, when you bestow a gift upon your agitator bin, uh, you simply just turn the agitator side to side nice and easily and slowly and you just kind of cover it up a bit like a cat. Someone mentioned to me at the show the other week, someone said it's kind of like just a cat covering it up. I said, yeah, that's exactly right. You're not baking a cake, you don't need to make a batter. And well, you pretty much have it all broken up. I didn't measure the water when I put it in, uh, so I can't tell you how much went in. But um, you just want it light and fluffy. There's a few lumps left there, but that's all right and um, break that down and you're ready to go. So, it's as simple as that, light and fluffy. <laughs> 